Hi folks, Wes Penny here, doing a video on uh, tying a dragonfly nymph. So this is a Firehole 718 hook, it's a size 10. I'm using Semperfly Nano Thread, uh, and this is brown. So we start at the eye, wrap your thread down to the bend of your hook, just past the point. Uh, the first material that I'm going to tie in is called Congo hair. Uh, this is a rust brown Congo hair. Um, you can use... Um, brown antron would work so i'm just going to tie that in right um, at the at the back where we stopped our thread I'll put a couple of really good stiff wraps in there and i want this to kind of just go beyond just beyond the bend of the hook and cut it square across a little bit of a tail and the rest of it i'm going to keep and we're just going to kind of hold that in place and Use it as part of the body. Okay, next thing we're going to tie in is ostrich hurl. I'm using a Vineyards ostrich hurl. I'll show this to you. So this is the Vineyards ostrich hurl. And it's pretty crazy stuff. So if you see, it's really long. The fibers are huge and fluffy and very, very thick. And uh, that's going to give the fly just a ton of movement in the water. So I'll take two lengths of hurl and tie them in. The reason I tie in two is because if you have any experience tying ostrich hurl, you'll know that the chances of one breaking are pretty darn good. So I always tie in two. I find it's easier to remove one you don't want than having to try and fit another one in especially on this pattern because it'll be um, you'd have to really take apart a bunch of stuff to tie in another length and then we're going to tie in some stretch magic so stretch magic is a product that I buy from Michaels in the beading section it's a clear stretchy cord and um, this one is, is a one millimeter thick. One of the things you can do with this stuff is um, if you heat the, the tag end with a lighter and then give it a pull, it'll pigtail. It might be hard to see, um, but it'll give you a really nice little pigtail, which gives you a, th a really thin end of the material to tie in. So you can just hook it right into that pigtail with your thread and wrap that tag in right down into the hook. You can get it down there pretty tight. And now that it's in, it's in there pretty good. And then we're gonna take a length of hollow tinsel. So this is copper, medium copper hollow tinsel. Bring your thread all the way back up to about a quarter inch from the eye. Now I'm going to be tying using some uni stretch. So this is this is camel uni stretch, the color, and we're going to use that to tie in the body or build up the body. We'll tie that up near the eye. You can see I'm not making this really super clean and tidy because it's all going to get covered, so you don't have to be real perfect on it. 
So you just wrap this stuff back and forth. And this is just gonna build up the overall body profile. So just front to back. And once you've got where the body is like even all the way along, then you can start to work just the middle because we want to kind of build up that middle uh, body, you know, the belly part of the dragon. We'll just keep kind of working the middle every now and then, do the full length to keep the taper nice and even. But mostly it's just going to be this middle part. So you don't need to do lots, just enough to have a bit of body profile. I'm going to tie this off. Okay, now you can take your hollow tinsel and wrap the full length of the body with the tinsel. Now take your stretch cord and give it a good stretch so it thins out and just begin to wrap your body. So keep the turns touching but not really too, like you don't want them really tight together, just touching. Release the tension as you get towards the middle for that body and then as you get towards the head. Start giving it more tension to taper it again and get it to about a quarter inch away from the head. About there. And then build a little bit of a, a wall right in front. And once you build that up, with the thread wall there, it'll stop it from sliding forward when you're trying to tie it off. So we'll just go in behind with your thread, then a couple wraps, go in behind again, a couple wraps, and then we'll just do a few to make sure it's in there really good and tight. Cut that off. Now you can take one strand of your ostrich. You can see the the hollow tin or the yeah the hollow tinsels shining through really nicely through the stretch cord. It kind of magnifies it a bit. So we'll start wrapping the ostrich hurl. You don't want to pull the stuff too tight, very very lightly, and catch it into the first rib. And then as you turn, just make sure it's going between every every rib if possible, or at least every second rib, it's up to you. But don't pull too hard. Just kind of let it just slide right in there on its own. And go all the way up to where it slides off. And that's where we'll tie it. So 
I mean, just push everything back, all those extra ones, and we'll clean that off with some thread. Just like so. Now you've got the extra ostrich hurl that we didn't need because we didn't break it. So we'll just give it a yank and break it off. And there you've got this big fluffy looking thing with all that long, long ostrich hurl. You can see how long that is. It's almost as long as the body itself. And that's just gonna lay so nice and flat against the body with a bit of that hollow tinsel shining through. Okay, next step is to take some pheasant tail and uh, hang on, I just got to grab some. Because I totally forgot to get some out. There we go. So we want to grab about eight or ten um, pheasant tail fibers. And you're going to hold them right alongside the body. And you want them about the length of the body. And just hold them right along the side and wrap them in. Cut off your excess. Then we'll get some more for the other side. Again, we'll put those right light along the side, the length of the body, pinch them down, and wrap them in. Just clean those off a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to take um, a little bit of thin skin. So I use the uh, speckle brown thin skin and I cut it into the shape of a small teardrop and I'm going to lay, so you can see it there, I'm going to lay it right along the top of the back for the wing case, kind of position where you want it and then we're going to tie that in just kind of at the eye. Looks pretty good. I'm going to tie it in and I leave a little bit of a tag sticking up at the eye. Then I'm going to take some mono eyes and these are extra small eyes. These are really nice because when you break them off you've got a little bit of a stem on the end of the eyes um, which makes them so much easier to hold in place when you're trying to Trying to wrap them in. So just put them in just at the eye, behind the eye, a couple of wraps. Then I'm going to go in behind and I'm going to build this up with a little bit of thread right behind the, the eyes. And then we'll take that little tag end and we're going to push it back and tie it right behind the eyes. Same thing. Put a, oops. Throw a few wraps in there. Just going to cut this little stem off here. We don't need that anymore. So we'll just wrap a bit of a collar of thread behind the eye. Tie that off. 
off. Cut your thread. Um, and then we'll get some dirty motor oil varnish or uh, resin from Gulf. You could use clear, you could use whatever. Um, the dirty motor oil looks really good with these colors. So I'll get a little dab on the bodkin and put it right on the top. And this is going to basically just build up the head a little bit. Cover your thread wraps. underneath so that's going to keep your thread really nice and secure in there Cure that. And that's uh, your dragon nymph. So what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to take it out of the vise and I'm going to wet it down. And you can see it's got a really nice sleek back to it. Um, the ostrich hurl folds right back nice. The um, um, you, hollow tinsel is really shining through without being too much. It's got some um, some abdomen showing with the ribbing, um, the wing case, and it's a really nice sleek looking dragon. So I hope you give it a try, and thanks for watching.